Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up squad? So, welcome to your readings for September 2018, yeah? Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you to all the new subscribers, but thank you to all the returning subscribers. Uh, your support is everything to me. I really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, we just recently hit 10,000, and I'm super, super happy. I couldn't be more grateful. Thank you to all you guys. You are freaking amazeballs, yeah? <laughs> so, uh, just a few things. One, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, and the energies are interchangeable, okay? So it could be you that we're talking about. It could be the other person that we're talking about, if we're talking about another person. Um, these aren't necessarily love readings, but love definitely comes out because I am channeling for the Venus sign. Your Venus sign is uh, how you approach love, how your information about that. So if you are looking for information about like, your love life, I would recommend, me personally, I recommend that you always start with your Venus sign. You can find that out um, if you pull you know uh, pull up your birth chart yeah drop your birth chart now about birth charts um, I want to make a little bit of a uh, bit of a suggestion um, this might be a bit of a long intro if people want to leave a timestamp go right ahead um, but I do recommend that you guys listen to the intro at least once especially if you're watching like a bunch of different signs um, just listen to the intro at least once and then like do whatever um, but uh, I recently got into Vedic Astrology, which is uh, also known as Sidereal, I believe. Um, and uh, I did this because my spiritual team, my spiritual guides really pushed it for me to start investigating. And I did so. And I learned that my signs are different. Okay, So I always thought of, uh, I grew up as a Taurus. My sun sign was Taurus. But then when I did the Eastern chart, the Vedic chart, um, sidereal chart, I learned that my son is actually in Aries. And when, <laughs> when I learned about that and, and I really like investigated and I read it and I like felt it out, it, it immediately clicked. Like it felt right. I was like, Oh, Oh man. Because when I started to look back on like how I present myself, how I like how I work in the world and everything like that, um, I am very much an Aries. <laughs> So that makes sense. I still kind of resonate with Taurus, but um, very much in Aries. So then other than that, you know, in, in the Western chart, um, my moon sign was Leo and my rising sign is Venus. I'm sorry, rising sign is Venus. No, my rising sign is Virgo and my Venus is in Aries. But then in the Eastern chart, my moon sign is Cancer, my rising sign is Leo, and then my Venus is in Pisces. And when I looked at all that uh, that stuff too, I was like, oh my God, that makes so much more sense. Because when it came to the Western chart, I was like, how am I so intuitive, but I don't have, I barely have any water in my chart. I think in the Western chart, I think I have like one planet in Scorpio. Um, and it might, I think it might be Neptune or something. I don't know. But then when it came to the Eastern chart, there was all the water I was missing, right? So for me personally, things really clicked and I understood, I came to a better understanding of myself. So the reason why I'm sharing this with you guys is I encourage you to check that out. Um, you can watch my videos or any of the videos, whether you, whether you resonate more with Western or Eastern astrology, it really doesn't matter. It's just um, all about how you feel how this connects with you, how it resonates with you, okay? Um, so I'm, I put uh, some links to some websites to, that are, I find are to be really, really great um, in giving you your chart. Um, actually, there's one, there's one that actually will give you both, but I'll give you two, two different options. Um, they're going to be in this description box below, and uh, I encourage you guys to, you know, insert your um, your birth data, your birth information, and check it out. See what comes out, and if you resonate with something, go for it, and then start to watch the videos from that point of view. Like if now, if you all of a sudden you find that things are different when it comes to the Eastern chart, and you want, and you kind of resonate with it already, and you want to watch videos uh, in line with that, I encourage you to do so. You know, it's really all about what you resonate with, how, what you feel about the situation. Yeah. Okay. With that said, um, I'll, a few more things. One, you can find me in New York City at Om Shanti Bookshop. 
every Monday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Om Shanti is located on 14th Street between 2nd and 3rd Avenue in the East Village of Manhattan. So come check me out if you're in the area. I would love to meet you guys in person. Um, the, uh, the link to the website uh, for Om Shanti Bookshop is in the description box below. So you can go to the website, get their phone number, give them a call. If you want to schedule a reading beforehand, you're more than welcome to do so. Or at the same time, walk-ins are definitely welcome. Um, and it's a great shop, you know, they've got all kinds of really nice stuff. The crystal selection is fantastic. So if you're into crystals, I recommend coming down and checking us out. We have a lot of great stuff there. Um, you can get some crystals wrapped and put into jewelry for you at the shop. Um, if you do want some crystal wrapping, ask for Martha. She's great at that. Um, what else? Oh, I am available for private readings. Uh, my email address is in the description box below, along with a description of all the readings that I offer, all in the description box. If you would like a personal reading with me, just go down into the description box, look at the options, read through them, see which one might, may work well for you, and then throw shoot me an email. If you don't know which reading would be best for you, go ahead and email me, and we'll chat, and I'll help you decide which one you would like, yeah? Okay, so for the readings this month, um, I'm using the Golden Universal Tarot. I love this deck, guys. I love it. It's just so pretty. And then I am closing out the readings with Oracle Guidance from my favorite, Oracle of the Unicorns. Yeah, I love unicorns. I personally believe that I am a unicorn, but you know what? That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> All right, guys. I guess that's it. Thank you for sticking in to with the with the long intro with me. If you did, if you didn't, don't worry about it. It's fine. You can't even hear this part of the message anyway. <laughs> I love you guys. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in. Let's get to it. Hi, Libra. Welcome to your reading for September 2018. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's just get right into it. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Hi Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Librans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Libra for this month of September 2018 to serve the highest good of all involved. All right, Libra. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, so I just want to start by saying, as I was connecting with the Libra energy, I was hearing Capricorn. So some of you may be in, sh I want to say, I wanted to say cahoots, <laughs> strong cahoots with a Capricorn. Um, you could be doing business together. You could have a romantic relationship with them. Um, I'm not really... Well, okay, there is some tension, um, but there also could be just a very strong tie, a very strong bond. I feel like there's some very strong work you may be doing with them. This could be a Capricorn sun, or they could, they could have a lot of Capricorn in their chart. Um, they're heavily influenced by Capricorn. I'm not sure. Uh, I, I'm really not up on the planets and like where they are right now, but it might have to do with um, a planet or some sort of transition through Capricorn. If you're aware of anything like that, please don't hesitate to put the info down in uh, the comments. Um, but, some, but Libra is really being influenced by Capricorn energy right now. And I don't know exactly how, but that's just what was coming through. All right, Libra? All right, cool. One more shuffle for you. I promise guys I'm gonna try and get I'm gonna try and learn more about his astrology as quickly as I can I'm really being called towards it um, so just so you know if you guys know of any good sources for information please don't hesitate to share yeah all right let's get into it overall energy we have the nine of Pentacles in reverse Lack of independence, feeling like a lack of independence, uh, feeling like you're having trouble with your independence, not believing in yourself, 
Also, maybe you're not going to be single anymore. Hmm. Three of Pentacles in reverse is coupled with the Nine of Wands. Upright. The King of Pentacles in reverse. But then also the Ten of Pentacles. All right. So there's a lot of Earth energy here. Okay. So Capricorn, we've got two nines and a ten. So there is definitely an energy here of lacking stability, feeling like you're lacking stability, feeling like your 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 stability, your independence, your foundation. Excuse me, I'm, I just wanted to say is coming to an end. But there's also an energy of perseverance here with the nine of wands, okay? You're very passionate about something. You're, 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 you're striving on, just keep swimming. This is my just keep swimming card. And it's like you're working towards this energy, the king of pentacles. It's in reverse, so it's blocked a little. But ultimately, with the Ten of Pentacles here, this is either your focus, this is your desire, or this is what you're working towards. This is what you're, 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 you're persevering towards. This is why you just have to keep going. Because ultimately, you're going to get there. And I really do feel like these energies of lack of independence or lack of stability or whatnot, this is an illusion, in a sense. There is a completion ha happening here. We really could be talking about, we could be talking about marriage. We could be talking about someone deciding that they no longer want to be single, wanting to find a king of pentacles, someone that, you know, can, a counterpart I'm hearing that can support them, that can be there for them, love them, nurture them. That's more, loving and nurturing is more of the queen of pentacles. Maybe someone you could love and nurture. And you're persevering toward, you're persevering on, you're pressing on. You might've dealt with a lot of difficulty in the past surrounding this. And so now you're just pressing on to find that ultimate relationship, to find that 10 of pentacles to move towards it, okay? Cool. So for the first half of, a, of the month, current energies for you, Libra, we have, yeah, look at that, the Knight of Cups. Someone's looking for love. Someone doesn't wanna be single anymore. Someone's either willing to give or accept some sort of offer, invitation. Get the ball rolling is what I just heard. And it's funny, I, I do want to point this out. I'm picking, it's weird. It's weird. I've never really seen it this way before. But I'm getting a bachelor type energy from the King of Pentacles. Especially coupled with the Nine of Pentacles. This is someone, I'm picking up an energy of someone that was very independent, very much single, really, really only focused on their, maybe their career, their money, their status in the physical world. But now they're coming into an energy of no longer wanting to be that, that, that bachelor. Maybe they were really super defensive about it with the nine of wands. Maybe the, the universe or their, even their higher selves have just been like pushing and pushing them to relinquish this bachelor lifehood lifestyle. And now someone is willing to extend some sort of offer or invitation. Either extend it or you're open to accepting it. Knight of Cups is coupled with, woohoo, the chariot. Cancer. Could be a Cancer sun that you're interacting with, that you're focused on, that you're wanting to connect with. Not necessarily a Cancer sun. It could be a Cancer moon rising or Venus in my opinion. But this is pressing on. 
I mean, this is quick movement with the chariot here. Someone really wants to extend an offer. And I'm not, it's not even necessarily that you know who you want to extend this offer to. You just might be ready to get the ball rolling there. That's what, it's what I heard. Get the ball rolling. Move in the direction of something that you truly are desiring. Even though you may have been hiding that from yourself here with the Nine of Wands. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Second set of current energies for the first half of the month. We've got the world change, transformation. And I just heard deep transformation. Like serious over, over, um, what is it? Not overdrive. Uh, overhaul. There we go. Deep change. Endings of a cycle. A bachelorhood, potentially. The world is coupled with... Whoop! Oof! Oof! The emperor in reverse. The emperor in reverse is someone that's controlling. Very self-centered. Very egotistical. Very all about themselves and what they want in life. Doesn't really care about what other anyone else wants. And that's very much the energy that I'm getting from here, this King of Pentacles in reverse. This person being very much focused on their material existence, their own personal material existence, their own personal independence, their business, their job, their finances, money. Ego as well, egotistical. It's very self-centered even. But all that is coming to an end, Libra. Either you or a cross-watcher. It's all coming to an end. Manipulative, narcissistic cycles are ending. Now, the degree to how to where you or this person fits within that spectrum of, of narcissism and manipulation and all that, that can vary, of course. It can go anywhere from being super extreme to minimal. Either way, for whoever I'm channeling for right now, the first half of your month, Libra or Crosswatcher, or Libra, the other person that you're involved with, the cycle is coming to an end. And the heart, the heart is opening with the chariot, especially with the, the Knight of Cups here. The heart is, there is definitely a heart chakra activation going on. Okay. Uh, current challenge for the first half of the month. Woohoo! The Queen of Swords in reverse. Uh, this definitely could represent you, Libra. Could represent another uh, air sign, Gemini or Aquarius. This could also represent someone around you that is exhibiting really nasty, mean, manipulative, spiteful, vindictive, cutthroat energies. Your current challenge could be releasing an air sign, could be releasing or dealing with these energies within yourself, Um, I'm also picking up releasing heartbreak or pain surrounding someone from your past that exhibited this energy, this Queen of Swords in Reverse energy. Queen of Swords in Reverse is coupled with the Knight of Pentacles. All right. All right. So this is also talking about this transformation. Releasing the Queen of Swords energy, the overly defensiveness I'm picking up also and moving forward in a new direction. The challenge here is you have to move slowly and methodically. You don't have to rush. There's no need to rush. The current challenge is, is releasing, not being overly defensive and cut off unhealthily detached and extending an offer to someone or maybe even accepting an offer from someone could be an earth sign again Taurus Capricorn and Virgo this could also symbolize that Capricorn energy I was picking up on 
Potential outcome for the first half of the month. Okay, the magician in reverse. Coupled with, okay, the king of cups in reverse. Interesting. My, that's interesting. Potential outcome. I'm seeing an ending here. Putting an, I, I just heard putting an end to narcissistic manipulative tendencies. Because the, ma the magician in reverse can talk about man manipulation in a negative sense. The king of cups in reverse talks about emotional unavailability. Could even be emotionally manipulative. Emotionally immature. But with all of this ending here, someone is going through a very... Uh, A deep transformation. And there's definitely movement forward with the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles and the Chariot. You could be ending a cycle with a water sign. You could be ending a cycle with an earth sign. I'm just hearing manipulative and narcissistic tendencies. Release. Release of either this energy or this person. That's what I'm getting for your potential outcome for the first half of the month. And actually no longer manifesting this into your life. So that could be the big cycle that the world is talking about here. The world and the emperor. The world is upright, the emperor is in reverse. So this could be that major cycle that you're dealing with, releasing, of manifesting or attracting this king of cups type of energy in reverse here. Okay? All right. Second half of the month for you, Libra. We've got... Uh, uh, Current energies for the second half of the month. We have, whoop, whoop, the king of wands. This could be you. This could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Leo, Sagittarius. There could be someone that is very, very passionate about you. Or this could be you are very, very passionate about someone else or something else. But I'm getting an energy of recognizing what you want and having absolutely no fear towards going towards it. And look at, that's falling right under the chariot here, okay? So, again, there's a lot of momentum this month for you, Libra. Okay, King of Wands is coupled with the Nine of Swords. All right, but there's still some anxiety. Fear, trepidation. This could be, maybe there was some, there's someone in your life that embodies this King of Wands energy and you're, you're anxious about the outcome with them. This could symbolize the divine masculine energy. And if you're a divine feminine in a twi like in a twin flame situation, you might be feeling really anxious about your relationship with this person. This is really a contradictory energy to see the King of Wands upright with the Nine of Swords upright. This is not a comfortable space to be in. <laughs> But this also could be an energy of having the strength and the confidence to push through any fear. Overcoming the anxiety and just taking action. Okay. Second, half, uh, uh, second set of current energies for the second half of the month, you have Eight of Cups in reverse. All right. So finally, like making that move. Moving away. Moving towards, towards something that's more fulfilling leaving those cups stacked there, almost recognizing defeat, but not really, because I don't really feel like you've been defeated. I just feel like you're making a choice to search for something deeper. 
maybe you're going, aha, see, all right, but look at that. We've got the nine of pentacles in reverse and we've got the king of pentacles in reverse. So you spent a hell of a lot of time assembling those eight cups there. And yes, those were fulfilling for you, but you, there's still something missing. Okay, so now you could be going off to find that two of cups to complete the ten. And with the king of wands and the nine of swords, you could be overcoming any sort of anxiety that you felt surrounding this kind of thing in order to move forward and find those two cups. Okay, eight of cups is coupled with strength in reverse. Whoa. Holy moly. It's like pride and ego has kept you in a space that has... kept you from fi ultimately really having that Ten of Cups. Maybe you felt like I'm hearing someone say, I don't need love. I've got my money. I've got my independence. I've got my stability. What do I need love for? Now, anyone that would say that is coming from a place of hurt when it comes to love. So now I'm seeing an energy for the second half of your month, overcoming pride and ego and actually going all out in search of that which will really complete your ultimate fulfillment. That is beautiful. So beautiful. Challenge for the second half of the month. Upcoming challenge for the second half of the month. We have, whoop, the devil. There's that Capricorn energy I was talking about. Overcoming fear is something I just heard, right? Because you're, you're, you're letting go of pride and ego, which is definitely a, a devil-like energy. The attachment to it. Allowing your pride and your ego to control you. To take precedence over your life. And walking towards greater fulfillment. The devil <clears throat> is coupled with... Well, my, my. Look, we've got the counterparts. The queen of pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> You could be, you could definitely be walking away from a, a Capricorn energy. You could definitely be releasing yourself from a Capricorn energy. Okay? Because the devil is the Capricorn card. And I was hearing Capricorn before I started this reading. And the Queen of Pentacles is an earth sign. So is the King of Pentacles. What I'm also picking up here is an energy of. Releasing any sort of fear or codependency. Well, and also, I heard codependency, yes. So you might be in a toxic relationship with someone and you're very, in, like, maybe potentially an earth sign or a Capricorn in which you're really codependent on them. And you're releasing yourself from that. Or what I was really picking up from the most part was releasing fear uh, towards having this type of Queen of Pentacles energy in your life. Someone who's really loving, caring, nurturing, supportive, stable, grounded, can do for herself, but would much rather be able to do for her family too. To provide for her family in a, in a nurturing and loving way. Releasing fear of having that kind of relationship. Releasing fear uh, against finding a counterpart. Or at least, if not, find, maybe if you've already found them, accepting this counterpart. I also want, because this just came to mind, I want you guys to realize that you see that King of Wands? You see how he's looking in the opposite direction? He's not even focused on this Nine of Swords anymore. He's done with the fear. Done with the trepidation. Done with the nightmares. The anxiety. He's focused on that wand. And he knows what he wants and he's going after it.
potential outcome for the second half of your month, Libra, we have death in reverse. So I'm really seeing that by the time you get out of this, by the time you come to the end of the second month, or the second half of the month, you will have been really coming out of this transformation. It will be damn near complete is what I'm picking up on, what I'm hearing. Death in reverse is coupled with... Shh! Ah! You damn right it'll be complete. Six of motherfucking wands, y'all. Excellent, Libra. Look at that shit. Transformation will have been complete. And you can ride on into the sunset with your love, with your honey, with whatever. Or at least you can plan that trip <laughs> or something. I don't know. But I mean, I'm not saying that by the end of the month, y'all are going to be like, if we're talking about a love relationship here, I'm not saying that by the end of the month, y'all are going to be, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. It is, it's whatever. It's whatever. But I mean, you've got shh, Libra. Libra, you've got some serious, serious energy here. You've got a serious transformation here. And it's so interesting because even when I was talking about the world card in the first half of the month, I was hearing transformation, but, and the world is about transformation, but it's also about cycles ending, right? And, and death wasn't here yet. So I didn't want to officially say a big transformation is happening, but it is, obviously. I mean, also, you could be dealing with a Scorpio or you could have Scorpio energy in your chart. You could be dealing with a Leo. Okay, we've got, we've got um, strength here. We've got uh, death. But this looks like a really good month for you, Libra. If you're a Capricorn, Libra season could be a very good season for you. I'm also picking up an energy of maybe Capricorn season is when, you know, you'll really see this all come together. That's possible. Capricorn season isn't any, isn't even until like December, but that's for some of you. But this looks really really good. This is this is a deep transformation. I just heard transformation is at hand, Libra. So I think that might be the name of this video. Yeah. Let's get into some guidance from the unicorns. Spirit, please bring forward the best messages for Libra from the unicorns, please. For the month of September. Thank you so much, Spirit. Um, my eyes were just guided to eight, this eight of cups here, but it's more about the eight, the vibration of eight, abundance, transformation and change, going with the flow of the universe, going with the flow of your emotions, going with the flow of yourself. No longer fighting yourself anymore. Seeing the abundance all around you. Knowing that you can recreate yourself. Change your life. Change the way you see things. Okay, let me focus here. Best messages for Libra. Boop. There it is. We have trust. Leap into the unknown. Have faith and move forward. Believe you will fly. Can I get a transformation? Amen. Just trust. Okay. Your heart, Libra, or whoever, whoever's, if you're a cross watcher for a Libra, or if you're connecting with a Libra, or a Libra, whoever you're connecting with, your heart is guiding you here. Even if there isn't someone specific that you're connecting with right now, you just know you want this, you want a connection now, your heart is guiding you there. This is truth for you. This is your heart's desire. This is true. your true desire. You're not being duped. You're not being deceived. You don't have to worry. Don't focus on heartbreak. Don't focus on the heartbreak from the past. Don't focus on potentially getting your heart broken in the future. 
Don't even waste your time on that. Just trust. And trust that the universe is on your side and is working to make this happen for you as we speak, okay? Because this is truly what you desire. And you got gentleness. Aww. Be kind to yourself and others. Honor your gentleness. Speak words of love. All right? So um, if you have a Virgo in your life or you are... You are a Virgo with Libra in your chart, or you are a Libra with Virgo in your chart. Um, I would say in one of the major placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, maybe even Jupiter. I got that from Sal. Eat, read, love. I don't know if you guys watch him, but he is fabulous. Hey, Sal, if you're watching. <laughs> but anyway, um, I recommend that you watch that video because the energies are similar here, and Virgo got gentleness too. Virgo also got death because they're going through a major transformation. Also, Virgo got, woo, Virgo got the Queen of Wands in their reading. And Libra, you have the King of Wands. Virgo also got the Queen of Swords, but the Queen of Swords was up, right? What else? Strength. But strength was upright as well. Anyway, um, if that resonates with you, I would recommend that you watch it because it's a really powerful reading. It's very good. It was very, very po positive. A lot of change there too. Uh, but also, we're in Virgo season. So I recommend watching that anyway. But gentleness. Be kind to yourself and others. Honor your gentleness. Speak words of love. Be gentle with yourself. A lot is shifting. A lot is happening. A lot is changing. Just be gentle with yourself and with others. Allow yourself to come out of this transformation. Don't make it any harder on yourself by judging yourself for something from things from the past. The past is just that, the past. All you really need to do is acknowledge it, learn from it, and move the fuck on. Your past does not ever have to define you. It doesn't define you. It was just a part of your journey, a part of your process of self-realization and learning, expansion, growth, ascension. All that shit. Most importantly, the past is the past, so leave it there. And move on to your future. Create your future. Your future can be infinitely brighter than your past ever was. But you have to create it, okay? All right, Libra. There it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you have a great September. I love you guys so very much. And I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of October. Yeah? Take care. Mwah. Bye.